Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Last week I was talking to you about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and I happened to mention that there were 500 people who had witnessed him after he rose from the, uh, the grave. And I want to read just a part of the story of two that met Jesus, didn't even realize it was him at first. It goes like this in uh, Luke 24, verse 13. It says, Behold, two of them were going that very day to a village named Emmaus, which was about seven miles from Jerusalem. And they were talking with each other about all these things which had taken place. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself approached and began traveling with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are these words that you are exchanging with one another as you are walking? And they stood still, looking sad. One of them, named Cleopas, answered and said to him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem and unaware of the things which happened here in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, The things about Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty indeed in word and in the sight of God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to the sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, besides all this, it's the third day since these things happened. And also some women among us amazed us when they were at the tomb earlier in the, earlier in the morning and they didn't find his body. They came saying they had also seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just exactly as the women also had said, but him they did not see. And Jesus said to them, O oh, foolish men, and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken, was it not necessary for the Christ to suffer these things and to enter into his glory? And then beginning with Moses and with all the prophets, he explained to them the things concerning himself in all the scriptures. You might think, well, that's evidence that Jesus really didn't die or this wasn't Jesus or whatever because they didn't even recognize him. Have you ever, um, uh, in your experience, had something you were looking for and it was right there in front of you and you didn't see it? And you looked and looked and looked and finally went back to the first place and there it is, laying right there in plain view. I don't think it's unusual for people, and one of the reasons I believe the Bible is it illustrates the kind of typical thing we experience. Evidence for something can be right there in front of us, and we don't see it because we're not looking for it. You know, it's a lack of faith. It's a lack of actually seeking. And so these men were all discouraged. They knew Jesus had died. They had heard the story about he was uh, not there in the tomb. But they didn't put two and two together and realize he was still alive and here he is walking with them. And they don't even really look at him and examine, it's Jesus walking with us. So is it any wonder that today people would have questions and doubts about Jesus Christ? You know, they hear the stories, they read the stories, somebody tells them about Jesus Christ, that he was the son of God and that he died for their sins and was buried and rose again. And then they come up with all these questions and doubts. And even though the Bible tells us so many people saw him after he rose again, even his own disciples didn't get it till they realized they were in the presence of Jesus, who had obviously risen from death. And then the, the light went on and they began to realize who Jesus is and what he had done. And it transformed their whole life. My friend, if you will seek to know the truth about Jesus Christ, he will reveal himself to you. That's a promise. That's absolutely true. But you do have to look for him honestly and not just run away from even knowing the truth about him, okay? Be honest. God bless you.